Hello everyone, this is Tim with Paintball Tech. Doing a quick rebuild video for you guys today. This is a CP V1 regulator. This is the original design that CP came out with for their inline rig. So most of the rigs you see on the market are the V2, but some of these are still floating around. So I figured I'd do a rebuild on, uh, on one of these first, then we'll do the V2 and then eventually a V3 as well. So to get into this rig, there are three sections, the lower section, the middle section, and the top. The top is just a cap, everything else is in the bottom here. So, we're going to unscrew the top cap. Inside usually will be a small wave spring, and then the piston underneath it, as you can see. Let's set that aside there. We're going to separate the mid and the bottom. Now the piston in here is usually the part that you're going to want to put uh, grease on when you service this. Um, most of the time all the other seals are fine. Uh, this seal and this seal don't move anywhere, uh, so you rarely have to replace them. But we're going to go ahead and replace them on this one just because. Uh, and then also the seals in the lower section here. Now to get this piston out, you can try and whack it on the... Uh, work bit. Sometimes it'll come out real easy. Otherwise, use a Allen key or a punch or something like that and just push it out from the bottom. Make sure when you push it out though, be careful because this does have bevel springs on it. Those little curved spring washers. And they do go in a specific order. They go back to front all the way down. There are uh, six washers in this V1 regulator. So and then this piece only has that outer ring on it. And the V2 there's a, a captured ring inside, but the V1 uh, the ring is on the piston itself here. Then for the bottom section here, obviously you have your macro fitting on the bottom. You have your reg seat for the movable base in here. Um, the V1s usually had a black uh, piston uh, seal. Uh, the V2s and V3s, I believe, have a red seal. The way to get these out is you unscrew your velocity or the pressure adjustment screw here. And then inside you'll have a ball bearing that you just push in all the way. And you can push it up and it'll pop the piston and the bearing out. Just like that. There's no other seals in this bottom section besides this. So, now we're going to go through and replace all the seals. So, we've got a 015 standard o ring here on the top. That one can go away. Here is a new one. This one here on the top is a 018. Again, these don't go bad very often, but in the off chance that you need to know. Then on the main piston here, on the V1s, the O-ring will be on the piston itself, the, the bottom one. This is a number 10, 010. And then the one on the top, the fat one, is a 114. So, there's the old ones, there's the new ones. Let's set aside. I'm just going to leave this piston here for a minute. Move on to the lower section. Again, this outside o ring very rarely gets replaced, but it is A018. And then the o ring on the rake seat housing here, which also very rarely gets replaced. This is a, another number 10. Now, CP uses Dow 33 as our grease from the factory, so that's the kind of grease that we are going to use when we rebuild it. So, starting with the bottom section here, I'm going to put the 
adjust your screw back into the side. Drop the ball bearing down. Put some grease on this number 10 o-ring here. Not a ton of it, just enough to coat it all the way around. And then this section is shaped, so the ball bearing pushes in here and pushes this up to change your pressure in the rig. So you want to make sure that groove sits over the ball bearing uh, facing the adjustment screw. So, Actually, easiest way to line everything up is just to grab a set of neonose pliers. Hold it in the orientation you want. Just drop it down and push it in place. There we go. Then you can put the adjustment screw in. That'll move this up slightly. Then we're going to go ahead and grease up the main piston here. Grease the 114. Make it easier and put it on this rod. And grease the number 10. And if you're picky like I am, you can also take a little bit of grease and put it on the inside of this rig housing. Kind of work it around. That way the walls have a nice coating where the piston is going to slide. And then push the piston back into the housing. Just like that. Wave spring goes on top. Some people like to put a little dot of grease on the wave spring just so that it holds down to the, uh, the piston top. It's not necessary, but it helps when you're disassembling it so that wave spring doesn't fall out. And then the way I like to grease these o-rings here is to put the grease in the channel that the o-rings are going to sit in. So for this one, it'd be the top groove on here. That way when you screw it together, it's actually pressing into the grease. And then also, for the lower section, just the top lip, where that 018 is sealing. There we go. And obviously you're going to wipe any excess grease or oil off the outside of the rig. And everything is rebuilt and ready to be set up on whichever marker you're putting it on. Thank you very much. Have a good day.